believe man la fi kalanyil nako that was my suggestion ko wala munte la kuma ti ngam ya marnu but if that was what i said bernard la ngol fo nu and you don't mean that and wala kuma ko to manke woti then i stand to withdraw that ko to mbe ko mo murundi la ka 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 buruka Um, well thank you Mr Tamba for Mr Tamba ila o senen roro for the consideration and withdrawal of that statement ila ko rosiro kan andi ye ko mo ni jolo nyaame yek i would never ever consider let alone suggest uh, that the armed force that is responsible for me sleeping at night that is responsible for ensuring the protection of the entire country i would never suggest that they are mediocre eh uh, ni mbara bage ngaw kumo nyin jolonne ka fugu tur nyin kamala ko sojar na sojar kundal men ya lon ko itollem molde men ya lon ko suuto ti li somon dawra e tollem marlin na tankoni na kantola nyin banko kan ko itollem molde men ya lon ko makamul ka dilal men ya lon ko ma lon do nyin soto ngaw kumo nyin nga jolonne tanana nana tafala No I did not say that. Okay. I think there is a misinterpretation. Uh, yes, come again. I said Council ko I would never ever nenete nyin fola I would never say that the armed force that is responsible for ensuring that I sleep at night. Nenete nyin fola sojaro men ya kendi ko ndeka sino no anyama suto So I would never say that those people are mediocre. Neneta fula ko wolu ila ko mu kundi muleti. I I never suggested that. Nenema wo foka wo wala be caring. And I would never think that. Alu nenete o mira la fanang. If there is anything, nin ko kundi mbije myself nta fango and everybody else in this country. Ani mo be nyim banko kang should be thankful to the armed forces. Nyanta nga sojar bundalu numbara nge jayi and all members of the security services and in canton in tankada bunda kotangolu be for the service they are rendering to this country puri be do ku kendo menke kanyim banko e because it is one of sacrifice kadu fambolem ke boy boy fanto and for that we should all be grateful and wo kamala be nyanta lo la nyine kan ke i jayi and i am particularly grateful to them and don't fanang wo ngani ya klimule benko no wo ngani ya kendo ila karola and i would never say or suggest anything to t- to 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 put them at a very low level and i never would do that nenete ku kela wala nenete fo fem fola membe ite lako jindi la ka do yandi ndeo kela so mr tamba we are on the same wavelength i suggest i suppose also mr tamba nga mira mbebe tembe da klimule to Council certainly we are on the same with wavelength. Inumbara council woto mbe kanyandi nembe temberinne. Thank you very much. Uh, so we move on. Then then. Uh, the question I asked you before the break. Nini ngaro ngeny nini ngami na janim bidafo nyon ni ngola. Was for your opinion. O muita fa ngola mira lol. As to whether or not. For wala be kiri ngora to for the kiri. You think there were promotions in the army? For makama la fal be kiri ni sojara kunda tole. that we are not based on merit men ya lan ko inen tilu ngou kata i am not talking about your own time ma fo itela wato de i am talking about in general ba ku sojara kunda bi wato be ite men kala muda if you do not believe ni yata iman la that there were any irregularities ko ku dol ko be keren men nu man tilo bu kata just say no you did not believe fo don hani mon la and we move on aten ten thank you inambara Council to the best of my ability Council ko katabu la ntela lodu la nano all promotions in the armed forces Gambia armed forces plus la falu be Gambia la sojar bundala were based on merits abebe laring lodu la kendol la kan based on recommendations ando abebe laring ya mari kendol la fanan kan from the various services men no bota do ku bunda nyaton ko lu battalions to the service chiefs abo battalion karo la kata be fanna nyaton ko la karo my level ka kana han fo atela tembe da to however but we nyaw nyang there were promotions Palas la falu soton tale that were sanction many along ko by the commander in chief commander in chief memu sojarol be kundon ko to wala yolu di which i may not have control over may along ko man sembe soto wolu ko to 
precisely the point you do not have control over them eh kuma la suti ya kamarong wo lol beje mang eh mang bulo soto no woto ite banda bil no la wolto we have gone over this before ngawol nga jeef ngaw fanna ni jube la jannim bi ta fanya ni wala your opinion is that ila mira lo me dolam nyinti ko he exercised his discretion akala sembo ta la kullu way me sembo men diala and therefore all of them were based on merit and wol beni silo le tar de tar ni nyala me alon ka ni silo tata le as he saw it ko ati aje nyameng ore kansul walem kansul but do you also appreciate hani ka bi foy be sonna nyin na le ko that even though he may have seen those people as deserving and ni ngal ata kundi ngay wol jele ko mo le me alon ko ay jare tala le there could have been other considerations apart from merit eh koro si dool francis tarano jele me alon ko woni woni nyin do foto nyogol ka foko ron ci matale jaretal pour ye ila makamo e lafa ko do francis tarano akaranda ngolal ansul in my own view kansul ndela je roto de those particular soldiers in question o sojaro lu melnu embe e fokanteng they were walking directly under him at the state house wolu be do ko ke kan ate fangole koto state house so i will not be in a position so nte tar la lorien dulato to ascertain those promotions pour wala o place la fa pour ka a banque pour ka timandi wala ka cda so in essence uh, you are saying you do not know whether those promotions were based on merit o da munta wala nyindi ko e lafta e kamem fo wala nyindi ko e malon fo makama la fal men ko ke wol ni si lol ni sarrol tara nyola yes you are right however to nya bari o nyaw nyang as the commander in chief ndeme mo sojar nya ton ko i know that he is invested with powers na lon ko symbol babulle to promote those he feel mul la place la fa ate yaaje nyamen ko a deserving wolu e nyanta o place so to nale Yes we we have all agreed to that. Be sonta wa d'accord wa la. That was not in fact the issue. Manga ko nyindi. The issue was basically the fact that you do not know whether all those promotions were based on merit. Wala ko men di wala nyindi ko ita ma lo man senema fo makama la fal men be ka ke wol benin ta tata sila la mialon ko ani silo tata la ni sarto. Yes council you are right. Ah uh, council ito nyala. Thank you very much. Uh, let's uh, now go to your time at state house in 1994. Silang ngata fanna la wato men na ebenu state house 1994 sango kono. You told us that after some selection process. Ye nyim fonye janka bir tombondiro dol keta. You are deployed to state house. Inate ne samba e bankola korda baro me mo state house. What position did you hold when you were first deployed to state house? Diri ye samba bankola korda baro me mo state house. Ye makama juma le folo maraje. Um I was the third in command. Amunta nyatonko nyakabo nyatonko lantele mo sabanja nguti nyatonko koma. Responsible for the physical guards. Melu marta kantar lala melu ka balama kantaro ke ka fo men e physical guards that is those that wear uniform me along ko wolle ka uniform o dum as we have the plain clothes as well ka to dolu bi je melu ka uniform dum ka fo e plain clothes for the physical guards the uniform men they fall under my immediate command bari balama kantar lalu physical guards men ka uniform dum ke wolu be ben tele koto who who was responsible for those who would not wear uniform juma ka tarra marlin molla men ko kantaro ke men bu ko uniform o dum um at one particular time what is sotonta the second in command memmo nyaton ko nolan ka fula njangoti was then um, captain captain demba njai wolem otumo captain demba njai was responsible for the plain clothes wolem martan wo molu la men bu ko uniform dum and he was the second in command he was next to the commander too and wa tele simbe commander kan wala matelo mo fula njawti ni bota commander ya as at this time when in temben na the gendarmerie gendarmerie had changed falindale from being gendarmerie after the departure of the senegalese during ka bo gendarmerie la birin senegalese tata to the tsg you get tsg could you tell us briefly about that because we want to understand why is command sutum commanding for nya kuma la sutiya kan wala ko to ka dunga lafta me faham la ko what necessitated the change muna nata na sababu falindro nyina and how it affected the security apparatus in this country and falindro nyina na tanko bundal la ko kol kolendi nyaadi le banko kan 
Um, council um, followed the disintegration of the confederation. Council bring confederation on in Janjanta. And then the gendarmerie command was on its own. Gendarmerie la kango bunda ebe loring e fayen ne watumo. Government came with a paper. On sakunda ni kaito fintita. To restructure the gendarmerie. Because gendarmerie bunda ni in saying kalo ku afaye. By changing the name as well. Purka tofan amfaling. Using the name T Tactical Support Group. You were to make a tactical support group. Or tactical support unit. Well, a tactical support unit. Why do you think it was necessary to change the name? Because the word gendarmerie was a French word. And because the Confederation was no more there. And it was the Senegalese that helped us to constitute that gendarmerie. And hence they already left at the time. Then the authorities decided to change the name from gendarmerie to tactical support unit. Whereby some personnel of the former gendarmerie were sent to the police. Some were sent to the army. And those that remain adopted the name tactical support group. We have received evidence suggesting that uh, the Nigerians, uh, the Nigerians who are then in charge of the army, uh, in fact, uh, supported or advocated the disbanding of the of the gendarmerie. And therefore, the gendarmerie Because it is not traditional uh, in English speaking country to have uh, a gendarmerie operating in its territory. Katwa manke adu tilinde wode kuru banko me alongo katu babu kangole fa purke gendarmerie to soto ila ba ila ila tundo ka mbati la banko ka. What is your view on this? Munede munede la mi kuma mi rolo ti kumota. Council I I am of the view that Council ndela jero mi nyina ti ko that may not be true. The Nigerians were here Nigerian supposedly to train the army. So when it comes to policy matters, I want to believe that they don't have any say in that. Uh, your belief is they ought not to have any say on that, correct? correct? In the disbanding of the gendarmerie, yes. But in reality, do you or do you not know whether they recommended to the president to disarm, to disband the gendarmerie? And so I was a junior officer, a lieutenant for that matter. I may not be privy to that kind of information. Thank you very much. Uh, that's, a, that's a very honest answer. Um, so, is it true that there was this rivalry between the gendarmerie and the Gambia National Army? Yes, Council, there was. Can you tell us, in your view, how the rivalry has affected the relationship between the two forces? Yes, Council, there was. Council, to my knowledge, Council, Londoto. The army personnel, they felt that the word gendarmerie 
Nyine je ko tumo kalimo ka fo gendarmerie wo se francophone um, word mo france kam fo banko la kuma kan leti and to the extent that ani fo kata futa tembe da to they, they felt that nyin je ko they were more trained yeah, it is lela karandiro eh, tambita than the gendarmerie personnel it is lela karango ani la londo tambita gendarmero la wutum and all that was out of ignorance and wo be fa nan faham bali ale ya sabu because when it comes to the officer corps, those that go outside the country to attend to gendarmerie courses, they had the opportunity to have training in both military and their profession in the gendarmerie. So it was a misconception. But equally, the gendarmerie also considered themselves as an elite force and superior to the other forces, especially the police. The police. Is that true? Yes, counsel, that was true simply because like I highlighted, the gendarmerie felt that they have two types of training, the military and the professional training. And so probably that was why they felt that they were more superior than the police. Uh, and uh, what was the impact? of these different conceptions and beliefs on on the security uh, on the security apparatus in this country so the rela or the interrelationship between the various forces intanko bunda dam mal temanu munem ko wolti mi alon ko wolam kule ko wolti min be alon ko be tama kay dam mal temanu intanko bunda dam mal tema jannu banko ka council operationally council do ko samba nyala karola it created a lot of problems e kolea jamale sabule because whenever we meet in the theater of operation, the gendarmerie will feel more superior than the police. And, and because that is human, it created a lot of misconception and problems. The same as the gendarmerie and the army. Because going by the French setup of gendarmerie, the ideology we had here at that time was the gendarmerie was more powerful than the army and the police. That created some lot of misconceptions. Why was it believed that the Zandarmuri had more power than the army and the police? Mune asa u moli u lanno sordole u lanno sordoko Zandarmuri u wale sembo sordoko stambi suajaro u nim police wala. The reason is very simple. Dalilo so fair to back. Like I said earlier. Kung afunu nyam in commando. The Zandarmuri are trained in both police duties. Zandarmuri u ika police duku u karane. As well as the the military duties. Andu ika suajar duku u fanang karang. So that made them to feel that they were more superior than the others. As at the time the TSG was created, uh, it was created. They were given the responsibility of protecting the president. And sensitive installations. Did that have an impact? on the army itself. Certainly, um, council, council, the same misconception kept lingering in their minds. Certainly, the, 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 those who are with the president, guarding the president, certainly is human. That they feel that they were more superior than the others. But usually it is at the lower cadre. Uh, but the other thing is this. Uh, the the army is a force that is trained in the military and the police. And the army is a force that is trained in the military and the police. And the army is a force that is trained in the military and the police. And the 
kind of situation was never experienced. Well, uh, fasongolo, wo miral fasongolo, anena mang finti. There came a time when the more sophisticated weapons of the gendarmerie were moved from the gendarmerie to the army. What not an art in a seal of fang? So a gendarmerie in Kidija will fang in Arna bond the gendarmerie bulle in Arna Samba soldier or love panala. Could you comment about that? For Sukuma for no what all about? Um, council, that, that, that is a fact. Council, what do you think? But those are political decisions. That comes at the, from the higher level. That probably depends on what kind of advice the, the president at that time was given. Because at that time we had what we used to call security advisor to the president. So was, who was a Nigerian by nationality. So in most of most cases of this nature, he plays a very important role as far as advising the president. Do you recall the name of the person, the national security advisor at the time? Omar ni menga president ya maru nuntangko ni kanta da bunda bangko kan fa isa to hakilo sa to mutan ole bang. Ansul I can't remember the name it was it was a foreign name so I can't remember. Ansul hakilo ta mutan ole ka to luntan to lem. Fair enough. Better ada. But what impact did the removal of these weapons from the hands of the gendarmerie and placing them in the hands of the army what impact did that have uh, on on the men and officers of the gendarmerie in kuwa narna mun ko ya kol del sabu molla men ya lonko be do ko la gendarmerie le koto ke len kidi jawol ta ka bondi bulol ko no kadi sojar kunda ngol narna mun ko ya kol del sabu gendarmerie do kulalla ansul the impact on the morale of the men was very damaging Council, we are coming to the Moluma. Many are long for the general Moluma to move. I get a tiny arbalet. Because what makes a soldier to be proud? A Roman soldier who ganja ndi afana. Is the type of armament he has. Wole munjoram fason ne bate bulu. But once you disarm him, arbatunia la ujoram luta abulu. Because taking the sophisticated weapons and giving him the less heavier weapons. It's, it's equivalent to disarming him. So the impact was negative. We understand that the gendarmerie was basically either by design or by default. Uh, it was basically a third force or a counter force to the army. What's your view on that? Nanyin faam le ko zandara mori o wato lanu itol mu tanko bunda mole men yalon ko itol kake tanko bunda sabanjang wolet men yalon ni kube kering ito ito ke muna fa itol de la ko nyin kono ile muna foto soto be men fola wodo. Council that was a misconception. Council wo fana mu filole tinu wotu mo. So I disagree with that. But don't you think that by default, uh, the gendarmerie, as it was previous to the disarmament, uh, did it serve as a counter force uh, or as a deterrent to the army? But between the mirror to what to men a jorang will be a bulu jani a sandal muro la jorang will tie bulu. In the mirror to far manke nyo sabab bunda ti tel ning soja rolu te ma wala a manke ko itel mu bunda le ti menu kalo soja rolu nyato ila kolu kono. That is a fact. Umuto nyali. And in fact, the two mutinies of the early 90s by returned Gambian soldiers from Liberia uh, were only quelled because of the intervention of the gendarmerie. And on the other hand, I'm not going to say that I'm 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 going to say that i uh, the effect was that this so-called counterforce was 
uh, significantly reduced in terms of its capability to, to, to prevent insurgencies or to deal with insurgencies. And the reason that I'm saying that the kid is on the table, we are more old. We are not in a suburb. We are 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 in a suburb. That is a fact, Council. We are in a suburb. And uh, we saw that in 1994, July. 20, starting from July 21st to July 22nd, there were the makings <coughs> and actual execution of a coup d'etat in this country. In July 1994, uh, July a fact, Council. Uh, could you tell us uh, what were the things that were happening in your end at State House while the president was away in England in July of 1994? I was in England in England in 1994. And so it happened far back in early part of July 1994. That the president then sat down the Kairabajara travel out of the country. So the kingdom of Morocco. And proceeded on his annual leave to the United Kingdom. And whilst in the United Kingdom, he was with the commander of the presidential guards at the time, Captain Lamin Bajo. The second in command as well, um, who was the head of the plain clothes, Lieutenant Dembanjai, was with him in the United Kingdom. Mr. Witness, did you say captain or lieutenant? For the, in respect to Demanjai. Demanjai was a lieutenant. Thank you. Okay, lieutenant. Okay. Proceed, please. Thank you. So it happened that within that period, information was filtering in the Gambia in all corners. That soldiers were planning a coup d'etat against Sadauda. And being the senior man on the ground as the acting commander. I mean, me, me being the acting commander at the time. When I pick this intelligence, after all the assessment I did, I contacted my commander at the time who was in the UK, that is Lamin Kababajo. And I briefed him what the rumor was all about. That the military was planning a coup against the president. And they intend to do the coup on arrival at the airport. And at the time, the commander, Captain Bayo, told me that he has informed the president. And uh, commander Captain Bajo in Fayanko, I Akibaro for President Wien the Fokapare. So hence it is an information that cannot be underrated. And Lung Kibarlo Mote Jutuno Lakibaro men. And the, being the most senior on the ground at the time. What tembo why I Kenyaton Kaya be tembo mento to moka itelebe atelebe palazo nyinto. I put a standby unit. I bunda parendi kafame standby wole menu be pare ring or tumo. A week before Sadawda's return. On his return, 
I led the team to, to the airport to receive Sadauda. And based on the rumor of a coup d'etat, I also prepared, I prepared a very strong team. That is the escort team. And also another team that we call fighting team. So I went with these two groups to the airport with adequate briefing about the situation within the country at that time. We were at the airport. Uh, uh, before that, before you get, got to the airport, was there any form of coordination? Uh, between the TSG, TSG, the police hierarchy, and the police like Santo and Santo called Tema, and the army, and in soldier Kunda of now. Um, the coordination was there. Kumbem Bunda Bejele Nungotumu Kakolu Kumbem, and that is based on the um, airport ceremonies. And we often have a lot of cool Tamandinya Lekang, I can menu Kuluntila Jidulatun, such as God of Honor. Certainly it was communicated and coordinated. And the guards battalion in Bakao as well. And guards battalion The commander also was adequately brief about the, the, the rumor that was circulating. Mr. Witness, my question is referring more to coordination between the TSG and the armed military hierarchy, the army, as well as the police hierarchy, about how to deal with this rumor. Kulnyinkabeka <laughs> After relaying the message to my commander, who was in the UK, and later he, he, he mentioned to me that he has reported to the president. I, I had expected that the coordination will start from there, the instructions will start coming from the UK. There was a security advisor at the State House. State House He was also put in the picture about the rumor. So being a junior officer at the time, all I could do was to put my men on standby. Ready to act in case of any eventuality. But I'm not aware of any coordination that was put in place. Uh, is it the case that you put together that force to go and receive the president out of your own discretion or were you acting under some coordinated instructions? For it was an operational plan I, I, I did. With the commander then, Lamin Bajo. Because after reporting the rumor to him, and prior to their arrival or return, I had a discussion with him, which he able he was able to lay down some of the um, actions he expected us to do. 
andu wakuna na taka chale kachame ya longo wale mnyanta kulu kila nyami andu ay kumo dolu fanya ne fero dolu nteli nyanta menu landi la nung kuonye kama amongst which was the like what I mentioned the convoy mnyinkono nyinda bije le koko convoy menu ya longo wale mdanda ndirlaluti and the fighting party aning kile la kafonyi so I acted on those instructions. Receive them from the from the airport. In your view, in hindsight, uh, would you say they are needed to have greater collaboration and coordination between the army, the police, and the TSG at the time? For it la mira rofu a jare talu ma puru kanyo mo choki nyolo soto sojaro la fana la police la fana la anin TSG la fana la for a jare talu watu la ma puru ye nyomo yoso to kakul taman to benyo kanka taman. Council, you are very right. Council, wamu to nyaleti. But hence, I reported the matter. Bari biringa nyin kibaro di. And it has gone up to um, the, the security advisor then. And it was brought to the attention of the president at the time, Sadauda. And I would have expected that a coordination would have been put in place whereby the Nigerians who were in charge of our command and the army would have been instructed and they could have moved out and, and, and get those involved arrested. And Because any coup when it is leaked, it should not succeed. If the appropriate actions were put in place. So because, because those who were supposed to have acted did not act. So that led to a breach of security issues. And then it could not be be, be, be prevented. And um, between him and now, Kuntuno and Yato Kabai. Sorry about that. Um, on that day, when Sadada arrived, um, what happened at the airport? Olungola, bring Sadada for the Danang, Monaka Airport. When Sadada's plane landed at the airport, I was already on the ground with my team from the presidential guards. But prior to the landing of the aircraft, I saw former president um, Yahya Jame. He was at the airport. And at the time, he was the head of the military police. And the military police, police And he was armed with a pistol. And he was he was not with any of his military police personnel. And when I do kunyolo, I do kula lumenu ba koto military police. Mota balaje ulukono utumo. Yes, he has all right to be at the airport as the head of the military police. And don't to nyala ni mala ni antoli pur katara kulunti la jirula to jewari soja ulukono kulo police ul lakarola atele mu niyatongote. But I would have expected to see him with some of his personnel, not alone. But he na ba ni amanu ngani ne jiki nungo anala modulu ni antar la jele. But Adam Mang kumkile ngoma ni antar la jele. Later, I saw him being confronted by the Nigerians, that is the high command of the army at the time. But he na ta jewari sodo. Nigeria no luna ta bentunga ma me yalon ko lem nyaton kolti wotumo na sojar bundala he was called and questioned why he was at the airport and why he was carrying a pistol ya command ya nyinin ka ka abe munela kulunti la jidula to nun je killing a fulanja mo munana nun wotumo kido fanam babulo but what I could see him say was he was the head of the military police, so he has right to be anywhere. But in another memo, we will not be able military police. We will not be able to call police. We will not be able to go to the police. We will not be able to But already these Nigerians, they heard about the rumor of a coup. But 
o yatala nyin nigeria no lu yin ku deta ko ngunu ngono ki baro moelede so they took his pistol they disarmed him yala botu mo lem yala kidota yala jorango bondi abulu and then they sent him away inata bondi je ya bayi kai boje but i could see he didn't leave the, Bar- that premise that area bari ngaje ko amanna sonna kabo ma fangola so until when the aircraft landed hanu fo kulundi la jita tumo men i could not see him bitum o tembo lem a filta ma maaje but i noticed one strange thing bari ku kilina ta keje me ya lon ko amandali kala ngawje because usually when the president arrives katu a jama jama ni president o futata e come coming out of the plane ka finti nan kulunti la fango kono he inspects a guard of honor aka buunya soto je me ya lon ko so jarul ka buunya lo menke e ka fole guard of honor but that day there was no guard of honor bari wolu ngo buunya lo manke from the plane ka bo plane o kono drong He went into this car adunda la moto le kono and that was how we left bitum bota kulunti la jidu la to wala nyaama to the state house kata state house do you know do you know whose arrangement was it yalla na jumal la fero jumare o fero landi o nyaama ba that he wouldn't inspect a guard of honor o ate bu nyaato crossiro kala soojero la nanga bendu nyol men nata bendu i want to believe that it was the idea of the commander at the time captain lamin bajo ngam left la 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 ko tumo même mon commandant nous ngo tumo capitaine lamin bajo wala la fero moti because like earlier on said that i briefed him before he left uk about the situation on the ground ta ro tumo ko nga fonu commando nyami nga kolu be katcha yenne kolu be jan nyami janna itelo be wulla nan england ka ie uk kana that is on the rumor of a coup plan coup ko lem nyi coup d'etat fere sitiri ngoti même be ngunu ngunu kanu so i'm sure he also put those plans in place to make so that he does not inspect the guard of honor mo to ngam rew dalilo le ya sabate fana yo fero de da pour president canada ngo buña lo lalu kono pour ka wolu je ko ay delta o buña kala nyamin could you tell us what happened at state house when you got there ci lam fay sa fo no nyamuna na rana ke masala korda ba do meme state house bring al furata je on arrival at the state house bring from the state house i had a briefing with him in his office that is captain lamin bajo captain lamin bajo na sita la office ko non ka chata je where i reiterated the, the the rumor that was lingering on damen nga nyin ku deta munu munu membe fokang nga o sayin ka ngay je kote ke ala office ko no and i suggested to him that adu ngani ya maro fanandi ala je ko as they've been away for about 45 days why did tell me that man e yetil tanani ni lulu ke mane and as they were just arriving and do why did tell futatan wo no leto o tembole mi futata mr tamba did you say 45 days ko til tanani lulu e be be mane yes that trip was about 45 days i know silo yetil tanani ni lulu ke mane because sad sadauda 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 um went for a summit kadu sadauda tata ma be nyaato kan be ngole foloto then he went to play golf abota to atata toron ko sola and proceeded to his annual leave bitu ngana tabo toron ko sidula atenten ta katala leave for ta kamen that was about 45 days he was away atata ka nyantil tan nan ni lulu abe mane so on arrival at the, at the state house bring up at the state house i had a briefing session with um, captain bajo which was the norm nin captain bajo e kachake me ya long ko dal ta kala wala nyaama where i reiterated the the plan coup de men ngim fe ku deta fere kumo fay en jele and both of us agreed that hence it did not happen at the airport mbe sonta nyina ko wayri a manke no airport kulunti la jirula then we sit we should still not rule it out bari hanim bi woto n kana fa bay tale de so i suggested to him to ngani ya maro di ala jele ko that i will spend the night at the state house with the men wolun tenni na molu be be suto la la state house jele wolum to be on standby in case it happens overnight kulun si tara pareri nimisal kam nyil ko be ko deta kala suto and i suggested to him that he could go home hence he was from a trip of 45 days with the other men they could go home oto ngani ya maro fanandi ala jele ko way di te bota nan tamo la tamo me alon til tan nan ni lulu ali be mane itani menu be siloka wota tel ye da ha ali say ndel si continue do ko la so in the morning when he reported for work bitu somanda birana ta do ko la i also took permission for him that he could allow me to go to my house have shower and and change my uniform nga adani pray en so silo la nte fana nga tan na bungo to nganku nganna uniform o falin and the permission was granted and was on ta pour ngata but then um i had um also um um the way where there were certain thing we i could not remember to collect from fajara barracks 
Awatumo kudol bijeng hakilo bata wanu mpuru nyanta tala fengo dolu menu kama numfajara baraks. As soon as I was entering the gate, mbedu mkambunda ala dameng, the guard commander alerted me that I have a call at the, at the guard room. Guard commander membeje otumo ayinyi mfanyo nko ha, nga telefon kumandiro soto nne ila guard room okono ila kantarubu ngutoje. So I went straight and received the call. Ndata nga okumandiro ta otumo le telefon kumandiro. It was my commander, Captain Lamin Bajo, on the line. Atatake Captain Lamin Bajo le ti mfango la komanda wole mkumandi wonya. And he instructed that I should go back to the state house immediately as the information I gave him about this coup attempt he got information that the soldiers are on the way coming marching from Yundum to the state house. Any mfanya kuha yen ya mari kudeta fero mena nung eh woto saying isi pare murunan saying saying ka murunan state house katu nga mwele ko soja rolu wulita lebe pare kang iba kanna purkana state house. I also alerted the commander at, at the Fajara barracks at the time who was um Turo Jaune, Major Turo Jaune. Otumo Commander Membe Fajara Barracks, Major Turo Jaune. Ndenga ufana mbondi kulu kalama otumole nga, nga, nga fai. On my arrival at the State House, Rimuruta, mfuta ta State House, I had a briefing session with my boss, Captain Bajo. Nim Captain Bajo, na boss na kachata koteke. And he gave me instructions and I am dinna. to put up a defensive plan. Runga Fero dada membe kela jelding kira nying kanto ni ngatangka ndoti. Mr. Witness, you said when whilst at Fajara Barracks you spoke to Major Turo Jaune. Ye info wo ila kumoko noko wato menebe nung Fajara Barracks. Hidi ya unta Major Turo Jaune. What role did, what position did he hold in relation to your job at State House or the job of Kababajo at State House? Ate mu do kule babu, luma na ma do kule ka sujini Kababajo la do kule State House. He was the commander of Guards Battalion, that is the TSG at that time. Atelo Munyato Nkoti, Guards Battalion, La Carola, Kandar Battalion, Nye Kafobunda, Meye, TSG. And the presidential guards at the time. And the Otembo, President of Kandar Lalo, Presidential Guards. They fall under the command of the commander of the TSG. Ulubebe, Commander La Kangole Koto, Meme, Alonko, Ole Marta, TSG, La. So that was why before I left, I, I put him in the picture that this is the report we are getting. Proceed, please. You then spoke to so Kababajo. On arrival at the State House, me and Kaba, we had a session where he outlined the defensive plan for the State House. But it happened that morning, the American ambassador was at the State House. American ambassador at the State House? He was with the vice president at the time, Sanas um, Sehu Sabali. And the vice president, Benyo Kanji Nungo Tumo Sehu Sabali. Let's, let's, let's juxtapose time on, on, on this narrative. What time of the morning are we talking about? This should be around 10 o'clock in the morning. Proceed, please. So, um, then the message was filtered to Sadauda. Through the Vice President Sehu Sabali. And we are first tambinding Vice President Ella. Carola Sehu Sabali with the American ambassador who was with Sehu Sabali at the time. And then American ambassador Kafutandi of Fanama Maya Lonkoni Sehu Sabali when you can do more. So I was made to understand that they went to Sadauda's office. And in a time Fahamundi in a coy to be not a willie, Katasa Dauda office auto tried to convince him Rukadia Moe Kasundi so that they can move him to the American naval ship. All that time I was trying to put in place my security plan. Then all of a sudden, 
bari anata kenye tere makuti um, we saw vehicles driving out of the state house na jamoto lube bori kanka finti state house and was told that sadauda was you know in that vehicle that american ambassador vehicle and we nyina fanyan ko sadauda be america la ambassador la moto kono during that time to the tembo the americans they had their naval ship in the country otumo americano la kelemanduaro be banko kanja otumo that docked at our navy base around the ports me alon ka be sembirin na wa photo otumo ni kele manduaro wolem nyim ba kono kulumbalti melu mu kele kulumulti abe sembere na wa foto otumo they were here to conduct an exercise with our own army wol nata no munela no jang wol nata le pour ye ba kono sojarol ni sojar kotoboke inin na banko sojarol then my boss captain lamin bajo on hearing the news that sadauda left to 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 the naval ship bitu otumo le na boss captain lamin bajo bira ni moy ko sadauda bota jele ya samba kulungoto he followed him to the to the ship afana mbulata no makata tara o kulungoto before leaving bi janabe bolaji he told me that he will get in touch with me ay ni no fonyon ko ni be nyo moy lale for the directives urumbe ya marolu menu continue la ke for because there was no mobile phone in in the gambia at that time bar otumo ni mbulu ko no telephone lu mantara keri gambia jang otumo so the communication was difficult between us bitu ko le choki nyolo na ta kole yanda mangu tema would you say that kababa jo traveled with them on the same convoy or he left the state house later e ba fere ko kababa jo ani tata nyola convoy kilingon la bamfo anata na tamale wo kola ko kiri ngo kola le mbo kola after they left kababa followed them birite sadaudant nyolu tata le mbo kola lo mkaba na tabule no so he wanted to know where sadauda was heading to at wala ftalo na le num fawo tumo sadauda bita kan num min tole but after they reach the the american navy ship we bari biri ta ta fofu ta americano la nyin kele manduaro ma bako then later kaba was able to return back to the state house to akola wati sutum kaba na ta murun nan kana state house and he came to see what kind of um, plan i had implemented na ta pour kaje nte nga mum fere fason ne tamandi no wotumo after that he told me that he was going back to the american ship to see sadauda whether he was okay nga wo kola lo ngana ta fonya kabe murula kulungoto pour aita sadauda je fo kolu be tembere ngele bang at this stage did you know where the coup is to where ni wo fo fo wato la fo yalo ne nyin kude dalal kude dalal nyin be no min tole um that time we are having conflicted reports Karo tembo nka kibaro lu menu soto imanke kibaro lo rinti ka kibaro lu kato falim falin nale some were saying that they have over overrun fajara barracks lu ba fo kan ko ye fajara sojar kordar nyin tale fo ka pare but at the time um fajara barracks deployed some men at the bridge at dentin bridge dar bar wo tembo fajara barracks ye sojaro lu lu nati menu be dentin bridge wo tumo saro saloto so we kept monitoring the situation be don tel continent a pour ka ko lu lamu ke inoma sata and kababa jo return back to the ship where sadauda was be don kababa jo nata muru kata kulungo to sadauda be deming so we kept receiving um reports that they were getting close to dentin bridge ndu nyin kibaro lu continenta kana ka foko nyin sojaro lu be kata kan nande de ibina kan dentin bridge kan did you at any point in time uh, leave state house to venture outside to see what was happening oh what na soto na banka ite kunnu ka finti state house man sara korda ba do ka finti banda ka jube ka korosi ka long mo be kerin nu ba kansul as the commander on the ground at the time kansul ning ko tembo kango men bembulu no wotumo i could not leave the state house to go and venture to see where where what the situation was nda findino la state house wotumo kata banta la ka djube mune be kerinje i relied on the team the group that was at dentin bridge njikita ka fole la nu men ya lon ko lebe saro saloto because they were from fajara barracks atul bota fajara barracks in a sense they were our parent unit Arunia aibanya ma wole mu kafutin to lobota membala so there was no need for me to go up to dentin bridge or elsewhere to see the situation wato amang nyanyin ta wala man jare nyin na pour kata dentin bridge wala dula doto pour kata djube mune be kering i could fully rely on them nsi jikino itolo lale nu so my role was to secure the state house tela lo dula mu nyinitim pour ka sik state house pour ka je tankandi and there i stayed and unta to ta woleto Uh, what type of weapons did you have to defend state house at the time o wato la mun kidi sifa jamal lel be de bulu pour ka state out ka je tankandi council 
I want to say here that that was the biggest mistake of the regime at that time. Dans le left à folle jansa inco, man sakunda membe siri nuotumo, wokete filibante ya baletu nuotumo. I can say most of the sophisticated weapons were sent to the army in Yundum. Kato msingi mfoko, kile joran sangaro la sobe malu nuotumo, yaulubeki sojaro le nuotumo Yundum. So at the presidential guards, we had only two machine guns. Between president or counter soldier or two more machine guns full of drones and bento lobulu. And the rest were small rifles, AK-47s. Alumu atobe kidi fasongo lumen bento lobulu lumu ying kidi ndingo leti ying AK-47 kilo lo. Did you have any mortars? O kilo lo bebulu lebe kaf me mortars. Council, we never had any mortar there. Council, pesa man soto nto lobulu lo tumo peso kaf me mortar nte lo mo dodo soto nu lo tumo. Um, subsequently, the, the coupists would arrive at the round state house. Could you tell us about it? We want to know what was happening at the two points of attack or two points of arrival. Ie dumfulo me ye sila fulo lume nutana mpurka dunang banyunu kanahan for state house leftalo na utumu wukulu tamata nyadile. Council, they approach the state house in two groups. Council, if indita na state house kang fana fulalela. One of the group was led by Edward Singate. Fudo Edward Singate le yolu nyato nkaya. From which direction? He came to the independence drive. Well, not an independence drive silo lela to the Makati Square from the market end. Kana Makati Square by Eba Maafango la Banyunu Marseo Maafango la Kaduna Wodola. Coming up to close to the entrance to the former um, Ministry of Health, their, their warehouses. Kana Minister Bunda Nunto, Minister Bunda Be Matajata Kendeala. Ilao Mangasino Liu Bumba Lube Nundame Maafango la Yitena Where they used to issue bad certificates. Tumo Nin Watumo Eka Wulu Kaito Ludi Wobungu Wo Kordale Konoji. And he stopped there with his team. Then in, at the state house, the other side, that is the Marena Gate. Yo, state house la koma silo ni memu Marena Bunda ni mafangolati. I got reports from the officer who was assigned there, that is um, Lieutenant Sonko. Utumo Lieutenant Sonko wale marta wo koma Bunda la ngakibarulu soto atele bulu nungko. We have several Lieutenant Sonkos in the past. Which one are you referring to? What all are Lieutenant Sonko? Jamal Del Soto. Actually, not Usman Sonko. I can't remember the name. It's from Nyomi N. Hakilo Bota Amari Tola, but I'm not Usman Sonko today, but I'm not going to be able to do it. Where is he? Ali? He is late now, I understand. He was in the UK, and later he is late. Amari signed the now Kibaro Sotoka Afatale. What is Sotunda? At the United Kingdom, at the UK, but between signing now we can Afatale. Proceed, please. He also reported citing the former president Yahya Jammeh with his group. At the following in Kibaro, did not go home. And yeah, Mojele Mel Nekata President Oti Jannu Mutumo Ikafa Yahya Jammeh and Allah Kafomulu. On the main road, just around social welfare offices there. Silaba nyinga kwa social welfare la o bunifu silaba maafungo laje. So when Edward arrived with his team at the point I I did mention just now. During Edward na lamu lufutata dinkira tonga dami mfute nsaing. Um, he shouted that he needed to speak to the authorities. I awuri ta nyinga kanga nyimfo asanto awuri ta kwa alafta dia mule nyatongo li yemenu beje utumo. At the time, I was with few of my personnel around the guard room. Utumo nte ni na mo danta lu mbe guard room ma fanga la kantar bungo tuje. Because already I've deployed most of the men over the perimeter of fence of the state house. Ato utumo na mo lu mem siate kononge be janjandile ibe dinkiral to menketa sansambalo ma fanga la ti state house kunoje. Do you know a soldier called Sam Kambai? Yes, I know Sam Kambai. Yes, I know Sam Kambai. Was he deployed at State House at that time? For what or be a Samba Nundu Kola State House level? Council, I wouldn't remember whether he was at the State House at the time. Council, Hakilo Tamutala Wotembo Fabenun State House. Proceed, please. So at that moment where I was, I could see through the main gate towards the market end. 
mfanga nyaka jele bunda ba nyi nyatilo la marseo ma fanna i could see edward kneeling down with his rpg aiming it at the main entrance na edward haina be nyoyri nga kumbali ngo kang ana la rpg wala mu kidoti meya lonko aka nyim bulu kono peso fay at the time where i was i was with um, at the time he was a staff sergeant i believe um ensa tamba tembo nimmo be nyoka nje ngamira utumo staff sajino le mati ika fay ensa tamba where is he now ensa tamba ni ensa tamba ale sa inte he is a full colonel now at the armed forces headquarters sa in full colonel le mati armed forces la corda banyendo then i was i was there with staff sergeant bakari kamara ni staff sergeant bakari kamara fanam biji um what what think he was also a staff sergeant or probably or w02 musa jamme la mera to mo staff sergeant ole mati wala w02 musa jamme so all of us were together around the guard room and ntel bele be nyokal no guard room wi law kantar bunda fango balaji so when edward shouted that he needed to see the authorities bring edward ni kuma kango wuri ko alafta nyaton ko ludiam nyo yala i then brief w02 staff sergeant bakari kamara that he could go to edward and get whatever message he has ngani ya marodi otumo staff sergeant bakar kamara la ko ite sitano ni edward ye diamo ala fuk maka wo ko makam fole ite ta yo ko makam tabulu inaina because in such situations you have to sacrifice one of your men that you will use as a rona tatu o tembo na koleata foyela mo kilim bondi e me ya lonko e batele bondi la prate ke kilati ka ko fasong lu tamande will be carrying messages front and back membe kare kibaro lu nati la anen ka kibaro lu samba so when he return birata ta muruta nan deliver the message from from edward singate eh edward singate la kibaro nati ntolu kan that he wanted to see sadauda so alafta sadauda le jela i also give him a message back to uh, to edward ngabari nga kibaru do dia la kota ke praya murundi edward kan that sadauda was not around ko ka fay sadauda ti jang so we continue exchanging messages front and back between me and edward continue to wonya le ka kibaru ki nyoye tanin na ntenin edward and within that moment i can see a lot of men were arriving at edward's location abdu wo tembolem nata je mo jama jama lu be ka futa kan edward la din kirat wa be dame i made a thorough assessment of the situation utumole ngako kalango kenya jube be tembo mento and i had reports that those at the bridge have reunited with them and lu ngamo ko menu be saloka wulu ninyi sojaro lu kafuta nyomale de amunta ni menu nata ke tareji ibe kafuta nyomale sila ke kafu kelimuti what convinced me that it was true i saw one of the officers left and been a minte who was at the bridge mune nata ndes sondi ko ni muto nyaleti de nyel kafuta nyomale nata mo jije wotu mo mem fa be nun saloto e ka fay left nan binamin te ngow fana je sila be nyim molu kono he was with um, Ed- edward's team ate be kafurin edward la kafo mo le ma wotu mo left nan binamin te which force did he belong to in left nan binamin te be men na bonta ta be na tanko bunda fanna jumal to tsu he belongs to the tsu ate be nun tsu le wotu mo tsu o tsg 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 so he was on your side before yes uh, uh, followed and he turned coat to join the other side later i saw him with the with the opposing force donc wo tu mo lem nataaje menu be ku deta silo ka ngani wolu je was he the only member of the tsg you saw with edwards group at at bi ne mi da don nan keta moti me ya lon ko abor tsg adu there were many and i could, I could, I could, I could see it, i could see their their headdress is yatal de kadu nyaaye la na folu jele wo tu mo because the army they were using green so the bearers were different from that of the TSG so how did you react when you saw that so when i saw that and also i got reports from the number 1 marina gate n biringa woje nata kibaro fanan soto kabula number 1 marina bunda ba nyinto The officer I posted there was reporting to me also about the situation there. Na mem fanan ke woto no woto mo do officer me ngabula je. O fanan ka kibaro lu dinna le woto mo. So being the most senior on the ground. Where is Silam Palaso la Carola ntele be nyaato ntele mu nyaato ko tije. After carrying the thorough assessment. Biringa yiri karo ke nga kolu la nya djube abe tembo men do woto mo. I got my senior men who were on the ground with me. Men no fanal mu nyaato ko lu ti men no be ndala je nga wolu be ko mandi nge ka fum famma. I said the intelligence I re- received about the situation on the ground. 
kolu belari nyame ngakibaro lu menu soto ngaw fanan kibaro ditul fanal la jele mebota kalama now it was left to me as the commander on the ground saying atu tantele bulu nteme mu nyato ngote membe je wotumo to take a decision buru ngakangota at this stage ntembena were your gates breached or they were not breached o ela bunda nying ya tinyale bang fo imatinya also the gates both main gate and the marina gate were intact eh nyim bunda fulolu bebe lori ne nyama wotumo ime ime kati imang yele imama ime 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 boy noto at this stage have you directly spoken to any one of the leaders uh, that were approaching state house from both ends fo kabuda hotel bola fo wati na soto de la bay di amuta ni nyaton kolla men yalon koy bina kanka state house ka boy kan ni fanna fulol bela council those were enemy forces council wolu mu jawol le tinu tembo so there was no way i could speak to to them oto silaman soto tembo nsidi amuno wolu nyame and at that time there was no mobile telephone and lu tembo bulu kono telephone te kering so there was no communication radio communication that i could speak with them an opposing force and lu tumo radio choki nyola bunda fanan tembulu ni tele sidi amuno nyame men ya lon kon ni itelle mantara kankilin that was why i sent the um, staff sergeant bakari kama to be going front and back talking to edward and coming back and bringing info messages to me o dalilo le asabu nga staff sergeant bakari kama ra ki pour askari tani na ning edward te manka ki baro lu di nyola Uh, it's it's our responsibility to bring out the evidence and get your reaction to the evidence uh, we've been told by one of your superiors at the time uh, that uh, when the group arrived at atlantic hotel yaya jami placed a call to you at state house and spoke to you in jola and you agreed to open the gate what's your reaction to that you mungal longundo no de buruka ke se den ro yen ke findi ni ke lankena ma eh nyim fotale ko me alon ko nyim mari mu la nyaton ko do wato ko wa kabri ya ya jamena la ka fo mol nata ka state house ka waling aye kumandi kabri nga ye kumandi pour ye bunda ni yele ye bunda ni yela e ina diam da kanno me alon ko jola kan wala pour ite bunda yela e be ye mon so de be men fulawo council that was false Kansul wa manka kuma soto ringoti there has never been any communication between me and yaya jamme at that time wo tembo kuma nene man soto nteni yaya jamme dia mo menke wo tembo staff sergeant bakari kamara who is a captain now staff sergeant bakari kamara memmu captain oti saying colonel esa tamba colonel esa tamba and the late musa jamme nin tala musa jamme they were all with me around the guard room and facing the main gate it was hospital of uh, towards um um july 22nd n ul benin tebe lori nyokan na kantar bunda laje guard room so ni ul bebe jele be ya sede ale be lori nyabe tilinding makati square ma fangola wotumo at that time like i said there was no mobile communication nga fonu wotumo tembo la wotumo nyim bulu kono telephone lu mantala kering and i never left that position adun tenena mambo dinkirato you told the commission that you made your assessment of the situation yem fo commission ay ko era crossiro bunda nyi kele te la crossiro kele ko nyim be lari nu nyaame o wado la tell us what elements you considered in making your assessment and what was the conclusion or decision you took fonye sidan birite la korosiro nyim be ga be kafu nyoma ya jube muna kete muna nata na ke sabati sondo moko no ko kol nyim be lari no nyaame o wato okay um, the elements i took into consideration before making my decision eto ngakolu menu jube kolu be lari nyaame jannim ben nakangolon dila because from the point where edward was stationed with his personnel kadru edward na la molu be ma fango men na wolu be lori ndamento i could see some of the armaments they were having ngajele joram fason lu men be wolu bulu kele joram fason lu men be bulu of course they had very sophisticated machine guns and do wotu mo machine gun nyin kele rang kidi jawbale be bulu they had this rpgs rocket propelled grenade launchers wotu mo eh rpg wolu be bulu rocket propelled grenade launchers wolu men ka nyim bulu kono peso fay i could see motors wotumo lem ngani pesa fayrang lu fanan je bulu ka fo me mota and a lot of other sophisticated weapons and in kale joram fason jamalu men yalon ko kidi saw kidi sangaro lem woliti and that reminded me about those weapons that were transferred to the army wotumo lon hakilo bulata joram lu la ye menu ta kedi sojaro lanun commando 
So it gave me, gave me a view that we will not be able to sustain the firepower. Fire Tu ngole nyi nsondo modi nako, jora ngolu membe nyili bulu, at jora ntente bulu ni nyili sikele no nyami mpuruke londi. At that moment we were in, a, in an enclosure. And what am I to be sensing on the corner? That is the state house. Well, I'm state house. And one of the assessment I put into account. And when they were carrying the corner, they could do for an GB. They were getting more men coming to reinforce them. And we could not have that opportunity to get reinforcements And we could not have that opportunity to get reinforcements coming. And we could not have that opportunity to get reinforcements coming. And the unfortunate incident was we yes. had our armory at the old Atlantic, if you if, if understand the old Atlantic, before the Atlantic Hotel. And we could not have that opportunity to get it was surrounded and taken over. Do you know do you know a person called Alaji Gay? He served at the state house at the time? Yes, Council, he was one of the bodyguards, the plain clothes. Ha, yes, Council, at the moment, the economy of Balama Kantar Lalti, but he was uniform. He suggested that all the arms you had in the armory were taken out to mount a defense. Why you for co, Kidol, Joram, and Bebal Bull, Laki Mabuda, or Lil Beta, the Puru Ali Alfan Tankela? What do you say to that? You must have been for our council. He might have made a mistake. Council, as a Keno affiliate. Because I was the one coordinating the operations. The arms he was referring to were the ones we had overnight during our standby. But when this, um, um, this, uh, the, the, the mutinous were advancing to the state house, they came very fast. They arrived by very fast. Because there was no force on the way that could deter their movement. Like I earlier stated, even the, the TSG guys who were at the bridge you know, surrendered quickly and, and joined hands with them. And that was how they were able to reach Banjul within a very short period. So, so proceed uh, to the, your decision. So, um, like I said, they, 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 they rounded up our armory. And the weapons that were left there were, were, were taken away. Because that was where we have our outrider section. They were based there at, at, at Old Atlantic. So they were responsible for the security of our armory as well. And who will never look at the law, Kidubunga Kantanu was when, but when they were overcome, the bringing in symbol for that my year to Luno, that's how they access our armory and took away the arms. All for that and the Kidubung Matene and like Jorang Lubondije. So, like I said, after the negotiations, so it was up to me as the commander on the ground. Take a decisive decision. One, whether to engage them in a battle. And eventually, what will end up happening? They will overpower us because they have more sophisticated weapons and they will have reinforcement coming and they can have the replenishment of more ammunition coming. We will not be in that position. Once we run out of ammunition, it is like me sacrificing my men. You know, to have them killed. Because in that situation, there is no way they could spare my men if they overcome us. Because maybe probably during the exchange of fire, they might sustain casualties as well. And if they overpower us, 
then the same will be extended to my men. So I took a decisive decision that after calling those people I mentioned, and giving them this situation report, I suggested to them that now that the president whom we were protecting, we were guarding, he is in the American ship and they have left. They are sailing out of our Gambian waters. And we should fight. That we should fight a war that we are hopeful of winning. And I instructed that. I am instructing that let them open the gates and allow them to come in. I, I, I had, during the course of my service with the UN in Sierra Leone, I could see the Kenyan battalion we are fully armed we have been deployed to certain other parts of Sierra Leone but, but a platoon strength but it, which was about 30 men we were able to disarm a whole company probably um, 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 chairman you might have heard about that incident in Sierra Leone during the war so, so, looking, so if you look at the decision I took was to save my personnel and, and that the president was already secured he has left so I instructed that they should open the gate. It started with the main gate where Edward was. And Edward, Edward with his team were the first to come in after we accepted to open the gates. Edward When he came, he met me at the guardroom and where I was standing. And he explained their mission to me. But all this time, President Yajame was around the Marina Parade at his same position. So until I gave instruction at the Marina Gate for them to open that gate too. That was how he also entered. Uh, Mr. Tamba, is it the case that uh, among your men who opened the Makati Square gate end mm -hmm. uh, was Musa Jame, correct? Mr. Tamba said, for Ido Kunyol Kono, Abel Kono, many Bundabani, Marina Parade Bundabani, Golanko, Edward Bema, Edward Bema, Makati Square, Makati Square, Bundabani, Abel Kono, Musa Jame. Council, like I stated myself, Musa. Warrant Officer Tamba and Kamara, we were together at the time when I was taking the decision. Council, come on, you mean the Warrant Officer Tamba, Musa Jamme, the level you can know what time we want to remember in Kamutala. So I instructed Musa, of course, to walk to the gate and pass the message to the soldiers who were there. So Musa did not open the gate on his own will. Musa mandaela fango la kango kande. Or through my orders. But yes. I ask this question because uh, we've had a lot of stories. Mm -hmm. We want to get it right. Yes. Uh, you, you, you have given this example of Kenyan forces being disarmed by a band of rebels in Lunamso. It first started with the Indian troops that was yes, in correct. 1998. Yeah. But those, they were disarmed, not yes. because they were unable to fight, but because they were not mandated to fight. Mm -hmm. They were given a chapter six and a half resolution, mm -hmm. a Chinese chapter seven. Mm -hmm. Uh, yes, you are right. I was I was in Sierra Leone at the time, Council. But because maybe they felt that the rebels were more armed than them. Mr. Tamba, I participated in writing the resolution. Mm -hmm. 
So we knew the reason why those people were liable. Uh, in fact, they were rendered important by our disagreement at this council of not adding a half to the resolution from chapter 6 to chapter 7. But that's for another day. Yeah. Um, your position is that you believe that you were unable to fight. Uh, let's take it first a step backwards and we would come back to this. Mm -hmm. A defense was mounted at the bridge. Correct. Do you believe that that defense was capable of repelling this force? Council, that defense that was mounted at the bridge could not counter this force because they were poorly armed compared to the advancing troops. Uh, I am not a military expert, and I, will, I can never pretend to be one. Mm -hmm. But we received evidence suggesting that Edwards was threatening to blow the bridge. Don't you think that if that threat would have been executed, you would have had the best defense? That, that may not be the best defense, Council. If he had blown the bridge, what capabilities he had at the time because of the kind of weapons they had. If you know Denton Bridge as it is, if the bridge is blown and they have taken over the bridge, they can still use the, the boats, the fishing boats. If you, if you know Denton Bridge as it is, we have a lot of boats at the other side of the bridge. So even if the bridge was blown, they could use those bridges to, to ferry across. Well, that is an opinion. In with regards to your case at the at the state, state house, house. Uh, we were told that the weapons that you had. And, and, and the strategic nature of some of the points there, uh, you would have been in a position to defend State House if you wanted to. I know that you have partly answered this question. So we should not spend too much point or too much time on it. But I ask you to react to that suggestion. What do you say? Council, in order to have a very strong defensive position. The kind of weapons you have matters. And that was why I said the advancing force was more heavily armed than us. And I have said that they captured our armory whereby if we needed more ammunition we will not be able to have that so in that case if that happens it's like you know exposing my men to to what all kinds of um, 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 
treatment wala min ndiko namolu ndeni melu be nyoka nje fighting with somebody and you run out of ammunition ndeni mo be kelo la etela keso banda that you you will be at the person's mercy munda o mari bitu men di ata ya bole kelela because what else can you do you just surrender yourself and maybe that time my men would have killed some of their 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 their, their, their friendly forces andu otu moni tila jo keso bande be mune kela fo ya fan sai andu batal le misal kama nin kelo ketan o batal lan tila molu yetel la mo mo do lu fa so that is why it is believed that in certain situations wolam nin lanno be kerin ko ko do lu lanya kama if i were to report to my commander elsewhere anna tara anna ta nin kibaro di na nyaton ko la karado la usually that commander will refer back the decision to you the commander on the ground jama jama o mari fanan ka fo itele ite men be je ite men be ma bori ma berin ko lu kono because sometimes is the situation on the ground that dictates your next action kaatu ko lu be lari nyamin ite be damin wo ko lu la nyaale ka sabu ite be ko lu tala nyaama to 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 cut it short mr tamba your suggestion is that your assessment of the situation required that in order to save your men you surrender and open the state house gates that's your position ko ni sudiande walam nin di ko ye ko menke walam ka bi ko ni cross ya 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 cross ya jube ina na ni kundu ko pour ye bunda ni yela ila mol pour ici tanka ye min yedu correct ah in a sense you are saying that your decision to open the gates is not based on some conversation you had in jola with yaya jam munda ide la kango kang pour ka bunda ni yela manke nyidi ko eni ko iye mu yafo nyaami eni yaya jam mi yala moy la be diam kon ni jola kango la you are right i'm a council because like i said there was no means of communication between me and yaya jam eto nyala council ka do dum silti je ferati je nden yaya jam si diamu no nyaami if if my if my intention was to communicate with yaya jam ni nyam mun na hamolti no pour ni yaya jam e nyomoy i could have sent my 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 rona to that side of where yaya jam e was nsina kila kino le no yaya jam e be karo men nay taaji bring message or information from yaya jam e to me right ki baro tana yaya jam e bulu ay anati nteye but instead my first contact was with edward are intending me and when i gave instruction for gates to be open edward side was the first area i gave instruction for that gate to be open adum bringa kango di pour ye bunda yele edward be karo men na yew bunda le folo yele pour ye wol ye dun nan until edward came in with his troops and for edward na la sojaro lu dun tanan it was later i gave instruction from the marina gate m o kola lo na ta kango di marina bunda ma fango la pour ici oto fana yele Uh, I think we could end it here at this point and then we come back after lunch. Uh, thank you. So as you summarized the well Edward and his um, group confronted you at the gate you the, the you were outmanned you were outgunned and you surrendered. Munta chairman ko Edward Nala Molu brief tata retired general Tamba Nala Molu ma state house amunta mem fintita ye wolam Edward Nala Molu wolle siata Molu ti general Tamba ni menu be konoto ye Edward Nala Molu la jorangulu forta general Tamba Nala Molu ti andu Edward Nala Molu ite le yirko fanan siata general Tamba Nala Molu I'll ask this quick question. I don't want to wait until the end of your testimony to do it. But uh, when the vice president and uh, the American ambassador went in Denmark to see President Jawara, mm -hmm. before that, you and uh, Lamin Kababajo, you said, had plans um, to defend the state house. What, were, what, what plan did you have exactly? What? Just very briefly. What was it that um, you wanted to do, especially to secure the president? Benyin ko nyinin kala nyinin kar jabri sutundro wato men eh America ambassador ni vice president Sheikh Sabali be nyoka nje nun fo jangni be futala ya be president Jawarama wo tembo itani la mo yeni foko ali fero sotale pour al parata state house tankandi la nyamin wo tembo itani la mo lo allah tankandir silo allafta nun mune kala nun pour wo dinkira la tankala jannin eh president Jawarani wo mu eh America ambassador ni Sheikh Sabali be volaji 
Um, thank you very much, Chairman. The plan we did was we deployed the troops we had on the ground all over the perimeter fence of the State House. We manned all the strategic positions. We did that simply so that at a particular stage maybe we could get reinforcement and our, our, our hope of reinforcement was to be from Bakau. Because we and Bakau, Fajara Barak, we belong to the same parent unit. And also, at the time, we didn't know the, 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 the strength of the soldiers who are coming from Yundum in, term of, in terms of their armament. So we had to deploy our men so that we will be ready for them. But in any situation, situation can change depending on the environment. That, that was why when we noticed that they, were, they have more firepower than us, and they outnumber us, so after the assessment, you have to come up with another decision. This is the way we are trained in the military. You have to take decisions based on the conditions, on the existing conditions at the time. And because because of the existing conditions, we are not favorable to us. I wasn't prepared to sacrifice my men. So that led to my that decision. Because if it, if I had engaged them in a fight we, we could not stop them from entering the state house thank you general we will take a lunch break now and resume at 3 o'clock meeting is adjourned thanks